Nope, since we're clearly not getting out of here without getting seen, then I guess you only want me to do. Private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Pikus news, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of- Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So... I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. <coughs> Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. You doing okay, Delara? Thanks, Adam. No one ever thinks to ask me that. I used to work with Lim International before the incident. During the incident, actually. I have some bad memories from that day. Guess tonight kind of brought them up again. You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Like armor? Hmm, I like that. Guess I just got a little spooked, you know? I understand. But regardless of the reason you took a risk coming back here, these are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. Try it. Why do I get all the crazy? The United Nations building is only one possible target. We are trying to stop terrorists here. Jensen, thank God. I was starting to get worried. That I wouldn't make it in here or that I actually would? What? 
I've been on the phone for the last half hour, trying to guarantee your safe passage through this city. Whatever you stumbled into at Garm is big. I know. I've been trying to find out how big for a long time. They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? When I left here, you, me, and Chicane were the only ones who knew what I'd discovered. Solid proof that someone other than Ark was involved in this. But you and your bosses have been trying to pin everything on them right from the start. You're out of line, Jensen. I sent you after Ark because they were viable suspects in the train station attack. And because Manderley ordered you to do it. Yes, he ordered me to do it, but unlike him, I will not ignore evidence to close a case. You've been nothing but an insubordinate cock-up since Manderley put you into this unit. Manderley? It was his signature on the transfer papers. I checked. <sighs> I can't believe we're arguing over this. Not when we need to focus. Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Zardibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Got me that. Okay, fuck you too, yeah. So every time we go in and out of the theater, we'll be walking right past them. You know, you could... You know, you could have moved us somewhere else, yeah. Umíte česky? Pomůžete mi? Já se ztratila. Um, no, 
Speak English? Jestli mi nepomůžete, tak to prostě řekněte. Sorry, um, how about you? What are you? The stylish side of the family? Keep your hands off until someone gives permission. You feel like giving me permission? Fuckers. Treat us like whores. Okay, fine. Um, how about you? No, ahoy. Ty nepatříš do rodiny, že ne? I can do that. I can, I can get with that. Not, not now. You know, it's, you know, we should probably, you know, actually, you know, stop a terrorist attack. That's probably a good idea. Probably. Where's there? Mr. Jensen, welcome to my theater. Your theater? Are you the leader of the Diwali in Prague now? Yes, and I owe much of it to you. Radic Nikoladze had no honor, and many of the decisions he made were bad for business. I've wanted to replace him for a long time, but he had two people spying on me. One died in the bombing, and the other was Galwa. With him out of the way and with support from certain people in Georgia, all I needed was a powerful ally here in Prague, which you also arranged for me. Masa Cadillac. So what happened to Radic? He met with an unfortunate accident. Occupational hazard. Now about that favor you owe me. With pleasure. Name it. Victor Marchenko. Radich was selling weapons to his terrorist group. Yes. Of all the shameful things in Radich's life, assisting those animals was the worst. The last thing he did for them was smuggle weapons and supplies into London. They're going to attack Santos Og thing at Apex Center. The Safe Harbor Convention, why would they do that? I do not waste time wondering about the motives of disgusting lunatics. You are planning to stop them. I wish you success. Miller, Archenko is targeting the Safe Harbor Convention in London. Jesus, there'll be hundreds of people there. How fast can we move on this? I'll warn London and get Mac working on a mobilization plan yeah. for You go home. We'll contact you there. Alex, they are hitting London. The Diwali agreed to smuggle weapons and the Orchid into Apex Center. Fuck, man, they want to take out Brown. He's their real target. I've been digging into him. Get to my apartment. Explain it to me there. You did good work, Otar. You did good. Good guys. That's like perfect. And you I'll be coming back for that later. Bring a bottle.
go and find for like two seconds. Is, eh? Bio cell, hypo stim, painkillers. I might be interested. They sell these things. Yeah, I got that. Buy something. Yeah, let's see. I'll take. You can take all those. All those. I won't ever use use those, so you can have those too. And not really an ale guy. I might be in the rye. I don't don't have one of those cybers, so. So what do you got? Take one of those. All those. I'm not taking your entire stock, but I could use some stuff here. All right. Get out of here. Yo. Really? I have everything I need. Fuck off then. Next time, maybe not fuck off. There won't be a next time. You don't tell. You've got look. Wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced dogs will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped up dream the corporate city state where like minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kind of goes against the idea of a one world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. 
I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Archenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? Believe it or not, it's not a bioweapon. Or at least it's not meant to be one. It's a genome editing drug. It targets the gene linked to Og rejection and deletes it. Og rejection? Must be why I survived. I don't suffer from rejection syndrome. What? Are you telling me you don't need neuropazine? Shit, man, that makes you... One in a billion, I know. The Orchid, Alex. You said it's not meant to be a bioweapon. Right. The files you and Janus got from the vault? They suggest Reed's team hasn't finished making the Orchid yet. It's supposed to replace the deleted gene with an artificial one. One that accepts augmentations. But until they do, it's deadly. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed, and Picus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew's lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn, curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vid call number? I looked into Facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is, the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Sarah. Holy shit, we've been recording for nearly 40 minutes now, and we haven't even gotten to the final mission. Yeah, this, um, yeah, this is gonna be cut down by, like, a lot. But, and you know, then I also need, you know, edit in a lot of the future Doom commentary, and then, you know, I need to figure out, like, uh, what the fuck I'm doing for the outro slot, then I'm going to need to make the, uh, fucking end of series video that I promised I would do. Because it's just a bonus video, but fuck it, you all know what I meant. Let's just. It's gonna be fun! Let's just fucking do this then! Jensen sobers up quicker than... Well, it's not ours. Let's... Let's get going.
Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with Macready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just. Maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Well, thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. While anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace, cancelling this event will only embolden all of them. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talus Rucker, and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Now, several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting then? 
In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slater. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. What? I can assure you, sir. We're on top of everything. Sure you are. Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. I am security personnel. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief... Oh, right. He's, um, unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. Bullshit. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? I'm with the guys that are about to fucking destroy you. You know what? It's fine. I don't want to disturb the man if he's into something. I'll come back. Sure. I'll tell the boss you are here. Miller, McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to... Uh... Something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvo Security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, where? Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. in the world of late, but where there is darkness, there is also opportunity, and we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we will make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. Miller, McCready. CCTV shows another compromised area. Back of the house, looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. It looks like our bogus Tarvos units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Oh, fuck, they're everywhere, circulating among the guests. What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative, neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now, but Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. It'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retinal org. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, man. Yeah. And which one has the key card? Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. 
One moment, sir. The mezzanine is not accessible to reception guests. I was hoping to get a new perspective on this party. That would be impossible. Enjoy the reception. Move along. If he believes to this Jensen, how are you making out? No luck yet. One of them's got to have that key card. Search them well. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Right, still relatively conspicuous. I took down another guard. Still got nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. Tagged it. Still inconspicuous. I took down another guard. Still got no nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. You copy that? Sector's done. Well, that's... Well, now they all definitely know I'm here. You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here, with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. Because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition right now, maybe I won't have Talos Raker was a patient man, bruh. But I am not. Come and see. The bombs. The... I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Yeah, crap, where did that go? Well, I mean, I found it. Of course, it was only the next guy I kill.
access granted. Reception hall. Oh, I tried to stop them, but I ended up here. Forced you to drink the orchid. I have the antidote. What? How did. There's still time. No. no forget it. Not worth wasting on just one life. The others might need it. Don't give me that sh no, I won't don't. sit here and let you die. Don't give me that shit, Tim. You're making it out of here. Uh, disobeying orders. I thought you said you weren't going to be a problem. Just take it easy. You'll be okay. Let the antidote do its thing. You were right. About everything. I'm sorry, Adam. It's not important now. No, it is. My God always told me to trust you. <laughs> Should have listened more. Go. The meeting room. Say Brown. And put this bastard down. Yeah. Mac, the orchid is in play. Marchenko's laced the champagne with it. He's gonna poison the delegates. Christ, this is just getting better by the second, isn't it? If you really use a hand up here, how close are you? At the rate I'm having to crawl around this place, I... You're on your own. I'm sorry, mate. Fucking go. Confirm low peak. That feel of you fucks right now. We're just gonna go. Still wants to give you a fuck. Come on, need to get there. Maybe we get there before they actually take a sip. <laughs> I'm here having 
can't see your face, that's time later. So I might as well just keep using it. Secretary in Hong Kong. It went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian drink, the champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? I'm afraid there have already been casualties, Brown. But I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. McCready, I got to Brown, warned him about the champagne. The security team is getting him and his guests to safety. Good that. Fucking Marchenko wasn't lying though. The residential towers are packed solid with explosives. If he uses that remote detonator... I'm heading to the exhibition hall now to stop him. Get your team started on defusing those bombs. Maybe we'll go while we can this off. Luck! We're both gonna need a shitload of that, mate. I'll see you on the other side. You are taking a long time to arrive, my brother. Damn it, HUD, you're fucking useless right now! I have a target! I always want a weapon free! Whatever. strong. Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. 
Now show yourself! I'm taking you down, Victor. I do not fear death. Nor do I revel in it, brother. But for some I am told that it can be a relief. Tonight, one of us will find out if that is the truth. Much faith in your little toys. And yet, so easily they have all said against you. It's like I keep trying to yell. Daniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a conversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? We won! Did we? We completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. You've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. 
He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderly and Paige. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? That is not the point! You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help, possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's only a matter of time.